Hollywood. Good morning and welcome back over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. So I just come on over for a little bit of morning fun. We really haven't just come to Disney's Hollywood Studios just for a, just fun. Um, it's been a while and it worked out really well because so this morning while we were looking at fast passes because the one thing we were trying to do is we're trying to make fast passes for things because we don't really want to wait because we know it's going to be busy today. So searching through things, Allie just kept playing with the app and out of nowhere Allie got fast passes for Slinky Dog Dash. I don't know how she did it for like 11.50. But not only did she get Slinky Dog Dash Fast Passes, she also got Rock and Roller Coaster Fast Passes. Which again, we haven't done that in some time either, so it's going to be a really good day. Plus we want to go over, I think I want to check out see what we can see over at um, the Grand Avenue area for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, see if there's anything we can see. But we'll look at stuff from inside Star Toy Story Land as well. I am always, I'm really, I still think Disney's Hollywood Studios is by far my favorite. Have what? $2 for gas. That's cheap. No, it says two dollars for the yeah, two dollars for gas. That's so that's that's, two, that's that's the two eighty four for gas. Look how much gallons are you use though? No, it's see right here. Oh, that's a lot of gallons. That's a lot of feel, that's feel per like gallon. Hundred one one dollar ninety nine. Oh, I feel like that's but a lot. That's a big that right there. It's a little little pump. It's a big reason why we, I love Hollywood Studios. So much fun. A lot of things going on with it, and I mean, it, it will kind of suck when it does come to the fall time when uh, Galaxy's Edge opens up. We need to go back to California Adventure. Yeah, we Similar do. Similar to this, California Adventure is really, really good. Yeah, it is. Well, one thing I forgot to talk about was that the now closed off the Planet Hollywood gift shop. So I don't know what it's going to be now. It says Showplays of the Boulevard, but it's like a movie theater style thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. But we're heading down Sunset Boulevard because we have our first fast pass for Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. Now, one of the things also to man make note of is if you're coming to Hollywood Studios in the next uh, few months, uh, Tower Terror is going to be running on a limited capacity as they go through a refurbishment period, and they're not going to close the ride down because it's kind of a slower season, so they can keep the ride open while they do a refurbishment. But that means the wait time is going to be a lot longer, and there's going to be way less fast passes for it. So. Just expect longer wait times for that. Well, I'm just made the comment about how long the wait time is going to be for Tower of Terror. They're actually already posting it at 105 minutes. 105 minutes for Hollywood Tower of Terror. But we're not heading over there. We're actually heading to G-Force Records for a rock and roll coaster because we're going to do both launch coasters in this park today. So it's been a while since we've ridden that ride, like really a while. Um, we rode in the very front row like we always do because on Rock and Roll Coast the front row is the best row. But man, when you've ridden Slinky Dog a few times and then you go back to riding Rock and Roll Coaster, that launch is aggressive because it, like it it takes you zero to sixty super fast. So a lot of fun. I think now we're gonna head over to Toy Story Land because it's time for our fast passes for Slinky Dog Dash. Speaking of Slinky Dog, we're gonna go over there and do our fast passes. So one of the things I keep forgetting about is that in Walt Disney Present uh, they have Meet Mike and Sully. So I think after we go into Toy Story Land, do that. We're gonna go over to the incredible, the incredible thing over here for the Municipal, and then we'll come back into Walt Disney Presents to look at the area that Mike and Sully meet in. Oh, it's always this is such a really good sight coming in to Hollywood Studios, and there's Slinky. Especially how the clouds look today, it's look really nice. Oh look, Woody and Jesse riding off to their break time. So Toy Story Mania is a 95 minute wait, which seems seems usual to the par so it is very busy in here today very busy I would have loved to see what this crowd level looked like yesterday here to be honest or like over the weekend because of it being President's Day weekend a lot of people have this have today off so Did you come here yesterday? I came to I went to, I, I didn't come here yesterday now so hope oh, here comes Slinky All right, coming up to the entrance of Slinky Dog Dash, it's posting a 120 minute wait, but for once we actually have a fast pass for it, which is really exciting. It's really hard to get these fast passes, so that's what you do. Just keep playing with the app, and sometimes you get lucky. kind of a fun
fun thing to see is that over here on the Rex box, it says 11 22 1995. It's actually the um, when Toy Story came out the first time, when the first Toy Story came out. So that's kind of one of those things, I don't know if you, any, a few things that you don't really notice about it. But this is a really cool view of Slinky as he runs around the track for a little while. Woo! Back row, Slinky Dog! Ah! <laughs> I'll try to get a good look of um, Star Wars Land. Ah! Woo! Ah! <laughs> definitely have added more trees since last time I came through here but I am kind of excited about this about Galaxy's Edge just from what we saw in Slinky Dog they've got a lot a lot of work done I mean you see there's like that ship in the background but I mean this is gonna be Pandora as style theming I mean I don't know if you can see it but there's like a bunch of guys sitting up on a like one of the towers right there I mean look how small they are compared to the size of the rock work they're working right there, so. This is gonna be a, such a cool area when it opens. Well, Alien Swirling Saucer is only posting a 40 minute wait, so it's not actually ba too bad. I've seen it a lot worse, though. So coming into the incredible and an incredible celebration because they're doing the super shindig down at the end, which is like the giant dance party. So we'll actually get to see that for once. And the Edna Mode experience to meet Edna Mode is still about 30 minutes. So it's consistently about 30 minutes. But the, the upside is when you wait for her, it's all inside. really well though that this uh, little cart here has like slushies so they have the front zone slushy which is the uh, blue raspberry and whipped cream and then they have secret identity which is frozen coca-cola with cherry cotton candy topped with surprise really good for a day like today where it's very hot so I think we'll head into the Walt Disney presents area one because it'll get us out of the heat for a little bit and also we kind of want to see the area where Mike and Sully meet so come look coming through here because it's like the history of Walt Disney and things he has done so like it always talks about his Town of like Main Street USA is inspired by his town of Marceline. So it's this is one of my favorite places to come into because I love Walt Disney history. So we have like an old dress from the original Mary Poppins of 1964, the Jolly Holiday dress. I wear it. So you can see they have all their uh, 
they have Monsters Incorporated stuff because up and around the corner is the meet and greet for them and it's about 50 minutes to meet them though, so. I saw the wait time and I was like 50 minutes. So yeah, but we're inside right now so we're getting yeah. kind of nice AC, so that kind of matters. <laughs> so walk down to Grand Avenue area because you kind of want to see the entrance area for Star Wars Galaxy Edge. You can actually kind of see there is some rock work starting to come up right here, but if you look to the left, Remember when we were talking about what is this possibly going to be? Well, it ended up being another, they, re, they remodified the Vacation Club kiosk. It was actually around the corner right across the way from the sci-fi uh, restaurant area. I moved it here, so that works out really well. Because it, it's more, um, it's just a better area. But one of the things though is they have walls up right here, and they've actually said they're taking out the speeder uh, photo op. And that's because when Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens, they're going to want to put almost everything Star Wars into kind of one area for the fact, for like, for that theming as aspect, because you're not gonna wanna have a little bit of, you know, some Star Wars stuff here or there throughout the rest of the park when you have Star Wars Galaxy's Edge going on over here at Grand Avenue. So, like I said, you can't really see much. We we'll probably won't see much, but again, it's still weird to say that this will be opening this year. Well, it wouldn't be something as Hollow Suits. It wasn't a rumor about something coming in. There's been a new rumor running around. This has kind of been a long, rampant rumor, but this whole area that has the Indiana Jones stunt show um, we're kind of hearing more and more that they're maybe considering maybe uh, making it into a mini Indiana Jones land and bring in the ride from California, but like our own version of it. Like, have, like not the exact version in Disneyland, but like our own version. I want that. Um, I don't know if they would do that though because, with, because it's still a very popular show and it, it, ha it can hold so many people. But I think it'll all just depend once they get done with uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and when they get done with like a lot of the other stuff. I don't think they'll get, I think they'll wait to do anything else with studios until they're done with Epcot and the, building all the other stuff and getting past the 50th anniversary of uh, Walt Disney World. So we're gonna call it a quick trip to Disney Hollywood Studios. It is getting very hot, so we wanna go ahead and head on out because it is getting back to the Florida temperature we all know. But man, really a good day. Got to do Rock and Roller Coaster front row, best row, best row on that ride. Got to do Slinky Dog Dash back row, and then we saw the Army Men rocking around. Plus, we went in and saw a little bit of the um, incredible celebration, and then went over and saw where they meet uh, Mike and Sully. Saw there was a 15 minute wait, so probably not gonna wait for that. But with all that being said, as we do head up from a very hot day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, we'll see y'all next time.